Hello guys, welcome to Eptrixy Classes, your learning expert, myself Ramo and here I am with another great, wonderful, awesome quant question of the day. This is 23rd quant question of the day video in this series. Those who are watching this channel for the first time, I will ask you to watch all previous 22 quant question of the day videos. It will really help you in shaping your thought process. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and do press the bell icon so that you do not miss any update from our channel uploads. Also, first try to solve this question on your own. Check how much time did you take and then compare with the approach discussed in the video so that you can understand that how quickly this question could have been done with the correct thought process. Try to match that thought process. That will be your target thought process in your preparation. So let's move further and read the wonderful question. So this question says, Aptrix offers a packet of five chocolates at the list price of four chocolates. And on purchasing 19 such packets, gives one packet absolutely free. A trader receives 20 packets of the chocolates in the offer and sells each chocolate at its list price. What is his net percentage profit? Now, by reading this question, actually, after you finish reading this question, if you are excellent in problem solving, you will take not more than five seconds in this particular question to mark the right answer. So that is the targeted time if you want to become excellent problem solver. If you want to, if you can solve in 10 seconds, I will say you are a very good problem solver. If you are taking more time, definitely you need to improve much on it. So let me show you the thought process. This question is very simple. Anyone can do it. I have picked this question just to show you that, you know, what is more important is not only doing the question, but rather using the correct thought process so that you can do it mentally and very fastly. That's very important because same questions will be given to everyone in any competitive exam. The ability of Thinking in a better way and ability of solving question faster does decide the merit, right? So let's start doing what thought process will help you out in getting the answer in less than five seconds or in five seconds. So first thing when you're reading the question is that when trader is receiving 20 and he is actually going to sell it at the list price, each packet contains five chocolate. If he's going to sell each chocolate at its list price, definitely he is going to charge anyone for 100 chocolates but let us see because since when he's receiving 20 he's getting a lot of offers so he must not have paid for 100 chocolates so let's see how much actually he has paid look he has just paid for 19 packets and that too only for four chocolates per packet because what he got is one chocolate free in every packet then he also got one packet free when he purchased 19 packets therefore he's just paying 19 for 19 packets and that too for four chocolates only so he has paid the price for only 76 chocolates now you can clearly see here that he is going to get a profit of 24 over 76 and that is what will decide your problem solving how quickly you can get this you should get it mentally without raising the pen once you read this and then immediately you go back and you can easily see that this is going to be 76. Few extra seconds will give you that number 76. 100 is there, so 24 will not take any time. Now the next part is how quickly you can get 24 out of 76 in this case. You have to first look at the options. Options are pretty close. They are not too far. So you need to be a little careful, but it is not difficult. It can be done mentally within few extra seconds. How? I will first show you my thought process that goes to my mind when I see this calculation. And yes, that I all I do mentally and that too, too fast. You have to target the same. How will I proceed in this question is first, I know that percentage ranges are somewhere between 30 and 35. So first see what 30% value will be. You look at the base. The base itself is 100% of anything, 100% of its base. Base is 100% of itself, right? So 10% of the base will be 76 I won't take any time in immediately thinking that 30% is going to be 22.8. It is simply three times 21 plus 1.8, 22.8. That's how you have to calculate mentally. But if you have practiced the division, you actually divide to get the percentages, then you cannot do mental calculation. But if you go through this process, you can actually think mentally. 10%, 7.6, 30%, 22.8. You know that this is not right because you should get 24. Now I will think about then what about 31? 31 means adding 1%. 1% of this number will be 0.76. If you add 22.8 and 0.76, you are going to get 23.56. That is also not 24. Even this is not right. 
but you got the answer now why because 23.58 is just pretty close to 24 you just need 0.4 approximately or 0.42 to get 24 and that 0.42 clearly is less than 1% why because 1% is how much 0.76 so if you are left with now 0.42 that will be just less than 1% that means if you got 31% to be 23.58 then your answer will be between 31 and 32% because the remaining value is less than 1% and therefore the answer will be 31 point something which is only C option. Now, what I'm telling you here is that first important thing is that getting this information that was the first part can be done easily mentally. Second is doing this calculation mentally. Although you need to find closer values, but it is pretty easy to reject options and find what is the right answer by using just one percentage range. We are able to notice that the answer will be between 31 and 32 percent and we can easily mark it. So the calculation should be done in a correct way to to allow you to think mentally and calculate mentally right so i will say just target this thought process and just if this is the question you should do it in five seconds in any condition right then you will be excellent problem solver even if you do in 10 seconds that's not a problem it's very good but try to decrease your uh, reaction time make sure your reaction times are better day by day you're thinking in a clear manner you are able to relate things you are able to fetch the information very faster and then this will be possible for you with a good calculation supplement you can actually solve questions in a great way Thank you all for watching this video lesson. Hope you all enjoy it. Do share it with more and more aspirants for their benefit. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you keep on getting updates of every new uploads. Thank you so much. Have a great day.